All right. Good day to good day, everybody. Good day, good day, good day. Hopefully everybody's having a blessed day. Um, we got a special one today. I found a special one. It's something that's been affecting our country for the last past couple of years or whatever. And uh, I think it's time we sit down. Yeah, it's going to be a little entertainment in it. And it's going to be a little information in it. But I think it's sit down and we all come together and watch this and see what the heck is going on. Because we're going we gonna to get to the bottom of this. This All of this migrant crisis talk and all of these immigrants flooded in, it's getting crazy out here. And these immigrants, they, they, they're doing a little something wicked, wicked. They, they terrorizing New York right now. I know that. It's all over the news. They terrorizing New York. They terrorizing California. They was terrorizing uh, Texas until Governor, uh, what's his name? Governor Bot was like, nah, it's time to take these at their asses out and throw them somewhere else because they, they doing some crazy stuff. And then I hear all this news and on the news that they giving out free money, free money to some immigrants. They don't even got paper. No paper, no social, no nothing. Straight free. God damn. What is going on here? Anyway, enough with the talking. Let's get to it. Let's go. Now from Box, I'm Jeanne Francine. I want to give you all another live look out in New York City. One, because it's a beautiful skyline shot. One of my favorite in the U.S. But also, as we are... No lie, New York is beautiful though. <clears throat> New York is beautiful. That's one of the beautiful, beautifulest cities, one of the beautifulest cities in America. New York. New York City. Mm. Discussing the very latest of border security. We all And it's a shame too. It's a shame that one of the beautifulest cities have the most messed up. Politics and messed up laws. I mean, why did out of all cities, New York choose to become a sanctuary city and house these immigrants that don't even got papers, that don't got nothing, and all they coming, all they coming to do is wreak havoc, destroying, terrorizing the city, just terrorizing it. Oh, I feel sorry for them poor little New Yorkers. I feel sorry, poor little New Yorkers. Also need to talk about the migrant crisis. Joining us live this morning to further explain is Fox 5 New York's Lisa Evers. Lisa, we always appreciate you joining us here on Live Now. I know this time last week. Let's give Lisa a little clap. Let's give Lisa a little clap because Lisa about to go in. Lisa is about to go in. We got we got to give Lisa a clap. Another round of applause. Lisa just looking all pretty right there. We were discussing those uh, debit cards that were being given to the migrants. Hmm. And hmm. Debit card. Hmm. Did they say they was giving out debit cards? Well, let me get one day too then. Let me get one too. I need a debit card over here with some money in it. Golly. Immigrants, good old, it's just good. And then uh, recently finding out this week uh, about those migrants that were living in those stores uh, allegedly paying rent. Uh, what are you hearing on your... Damn, they trapping out the stores in New York, putting migrants in it. Y'all, 54 room, let's get it. Y'all, big money. Trapping out the stores for some change. God damn, New York done became a trap house. You're it. Well, Jeanette, a lot of things, and it's just, it seems now that almost every day or every other day, there are more stories coming out about this spillover effect of this migrant crisis, which New York, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said would actually doom the city at some point. That's probably. Hey, New York City, Eric Adams, I salute to you. Real talk. Spook salutes to you. Cause this, they, you're right. They about to wreak havoc on your city. Hi. Right. Most 
dismal thing he's ever had to say about this. But in terms of the furniture store, uh, there was a furniture. There is a furniture store owner in Queens. He is immigrated here from Senegal about uh, 10 years ago. He had dozens of migrant men from West Africa in his basement sleeping on cot. No. No. We got the Arab trade slave going up in New York. You didn't, thought I didn't just hear that? This illegal immigrant had Africans in the basement chained up. The Arab trade slave is going on in New York. Eric Adams. Come on now, man. Come on now. I thought slavery was over. Come on now. Sleeping on mattresses and the floor of his basement. These immigrants booming out the basements. S someone right now don't call get ice on the phone right now. And deportate. Deep <laughs> Hit the deportation button right now, ice. Hey, ice. New York needs y'all right now. Um, in the basement of the furniture store there. Then it turns out that in the Bronx, he also owned another store, and he had this similar situation, these mattresses. And remember, it's cold here in New York right now. We're in the middle of winter. There's space heaters, which are very dangerous. There were extension cords, all types of things, which the fire department felt was a, a fire hazard. So they shut down both of those locations. We're talking, talking over 100 men. Um, at least like at least 45 beds, about 70 men in each location. And some of them reportedly. Look at that. Look at that. How they put in their head down. Look at that. What you putting your head down for? Nah, you did the crime. You shall do the time. Y'all want to come over here fucking up New York City. Boy, y'all, I keep telling y'all, y'all get ice on the phone. Get these illegal immigrants off my goddamn city, Ice. We're paying up to $300 a month just to have a place to sleep. Now, what's happened this week is you're showing the video of the migrant crime wave that we've been experiencing here in New York. And this it's just reached a, it's reached a point where people are saying this has gone too far. It's, it's very organized. As you Hold up. Hold up. I know that was a migrant on that moped. Hold up. Hold up. What that migrant was doing? Pulling bags off of people? <laughs> hey, these immigration policies. Y'all better take care of it before they over here fuck up this country. You see with the, the video right there with the moped? The moped ring. They had 62 incidents. The moped ring. They didn't turn. They 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 don't use these mopeds as tools for their organizations. <sighs> New York, New York. It's a sad day in New York history. They were being given orders by a man over WhatsApp of what to rob and what to steal. You see them stealing bags. They were stealing phones. And some of them have were already arrested. But here's the problem. Once they're arrested, the NYPD, because New York City is a sanctuary city, has no liaison with ICE. Yes, ICE is very active here. No liaison with ICE. <clears throat> hmm. ICE. ICE. Hear this out. I'm going to need y'all to get the president right now. Get Biden on the phone. Hey, Biden. What the hell is going down in my city? Biden, you going down. You going down, Biden. It's time to switch. In the New York area, as you can imagine, they could not just pick up the phone as you would in many other cities in the United States and say, hey, we just arrested a guy for assault. We just arrested a guy for a, a robbery. He's been charged. We want to turn him over to you. He's also a repeat offender, which has been the other uh, sore point to make. 
repeat offender. And he haven't been deported? Repeat offender. No driver license. No social. No passport. Just no identity. And y'all not dictate, y'all not deporting these people? New York. New York. Come on, man. Come, what's going on in New York? Many New Yorkers, law-abiding New Yorkers here. Uh, we want to turn them... Them good old law-abiding New York citizens. Hmm. Y'all going through it. Over to you, but they can't do that in New York, because New York City, because it's a sanctuary city. The mayor, mayor Adams, in the past has been very proud of the fact that this is New York. We can accommodate anybody. We can take in anybody early on in the migrant crisis. He said, don't worry. Don't worry about nothing. Because in the next five years, New York is going to be a whole complete different city. Don't worry. Them, them immigrations, them immigrants, they got something for your ass. Don't worry. Y'all won't even recognize New York in the next five years. Said, come here, come to New York. Hell, not even New York, let alone this whole goddamn country. How much, how much immigrants have they, have they even allowed already in this country? Eight million? Seven million? Ten million? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. With no papers, no socials, no passport, nothing. We'll take care of you. And New Yorkers, quite frankly, are getting fed up with it. We had, as you mentioned last week, the $13 a day per person a debit cards being given to the migrants. Many New Yorkers. $13 a day per person. Free money. Free bands. Everybody get it. Everybody get the bands. The only one that ain't getting the bands is the good old New York citizens. They ain't getting $13 a day. If you ain't an immigrant, no $13 a day. No money. And they be talking about they broke. They got tr they got trillions of dollars. Trillions of dollars to spend. And they giving out them free bands to them immigrants. Free bands. Y'all, free debit cards, $13 a day. Let's get it. Who are having to stand online at food banks every week are saying, wait a minute, what about us? That would certainly go a long way to helping us with our groceries. We're working. We're trying to make ends meet here. But in terms of the crime wave. What I want to know is if they let in about 8 million to 10 million immigrants, how is the job force going to look in the next five years? How is the economy going to look in the next five years? How is the poverty, even the population, going to look different in the next five years? Have you ever considered that? Before letting in all these eight to ten million pedophiles, rapists, murderers, robbers. And I'm not saying all of them is. There's a couple, there's some good ones. I ain't saying all of them is. But y'all don't know who y'all let in it. Hmm. Hmm. We've seen them. We've seen assaults on police officers. We've seen a uh, shooting. Not assault on the them good old police officers. Immigrants assaulting these good old officers. How dare they? Hmm. They got the whole cojones. Yes. They got the guo bois. Yeah. They got big balls. Tough. Macho. Speaking of a uh, tourist in Times Square, um, some of these are underage migrants. They're teens, part of these rings that they're being uh, groomed into. Oh, man. They, they, they done added the teenagers, the teenager immigrants, too. They in this, too? They in this too? The whole squad need to get deported. I'm, I'm ashamed of you, Ice. I'm ashamed of Ice. I thought Ice was them boys. 
I thought Ice was them boys. You know, them boys you call when you need them. You know, handle say, get someone shipped off. I thought Ice was them boys. Turns out they got weak. And attracted into or forced into by various means. We've seen other types of crimes going on. The, the migrant shelter, men's shelter on Randall's Island, they just decided this week that they would put in metal detectors there because there have been so many problems at that particular location. So it's just been, it's been one thing after another, complete disregard for the law. And a lot of times they felt like, okay, if they were wearing masks, if they were wearing hoodies, if they had their faces covered, there was very little way, uh, very little way to identify them. And because they came across the border, basically the open door that is the, the southern border of the United States, the southwestern border, they came, they came across. Hey, Amen. On some real talk, Governor Abba, hope I'm saying your name right, of Texas, and Ron DeSantis of Florida, because they, they, they said the southern border open, right? That, 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 that southern border open. So, like I said, Ron DeSantis, Governor Bot, hey man, y'all need to do a collaboration. Y'all need to do a collaboration. Y'all need to link up and put a whole goddamn wall from Florida to Texas. Block all that bitch off. Florida, Texas, blocked off. Can't leave, can't go. Ron DeSantis, Governor Bot of Texas. Make that call, collab, and get that wall handled immediately. Collab with ICE, too, because ICE, you need to get in there. There's no fingerprints. There's no type of ID. There's no type of um, any type of identification like that. So the police have really had to do a lot of extra work to just even try to figure out who are these individuals. So they arrest them. What you mean, who are these individuals? I just told y'all, no paper, no social, no passport, no ID, no nothing, no, no identity. Oh, that's a free pass to some crime. When you have none of those four things, that's a free pass to some crime. Y'all about to catch hell from them. Oh, yeah. Yes, they indeed. They indict them, but they can't if it's a non, if it's, it's a not a bail eligible crime, which some of these, believe it or not, still are not in New York City and New York State. They have, they have nowhere to put them or send them because we are a sanctuary city. So this week, Mary Adams said, listen, I think it's time. I love the concept of a sanctuary city. I'm not saying end it. I'm saying amend it. And he proposed to this. Salute to you, Mayor Adams. Yeah, we need, y'all need to amend that immediately. Immediately. Y'all need to amend that law. Y'all see what y'all catching? Boy, they giving y'all the wrath of God up in New York. The city council that they have a, a liaison with the local ICE office here so that if there are these repeat offenders, which many of them are, even the young ones, the underage ones, is if have a liaison with ICE on these repeat offenders, have a way so that NYPD can just pick up the phone and, and or send an email and say, listen, we have these guys here. They're at such and such a precinct. Can you please come pick them up? ICE comes and picks them up as they do in other cities. And then, boom, that's it. They're out. Y'all. <laughs> salute to them boys, Ice, man. I salute you, Ice. That's them boys. That's them boys in motion. Y'all. Yeah, Ice is them boys. I, hey, if I'm a salute to anybody, if I'm a salute to, if I, if I'm a salute to a soldier, if I'm a salute to a president, I'm definitely going to see to the organization Ice. Salute to y'all. Because dumb motherfuckers, they don't play. They'll deport any of y'all. I've been slacking now. I've been slacking on handling this $8 to $10 million illegal immigrant population. They've been slacking. I'm going to give y'all that pass. I'm going to give y'all that pass. I'm going to give y'all time to recoup and get back in motion and handle this illegal immigrant crisis we have in here in good old America. Out of New York, New York taxpayers, which are, are people are just going crazy over the amount of taxes here that people have to pay, how expensive everything is. New York taxpayers don't have to pay 
to house that person in a city or county jail, uh, uh, feed them, house them, and continue to give them whatever um, benefits package they have as migrants, and they can be they can be gone. Some of them might come back, but they will definitely be gone for a period of time. But more importantly, the message will be sent wherever they came from. The crime is not being tolerated. What we have now, Gina, is we have criminal rings. They're actually going into stores with specific orders of what they need to steal. Hmm. Hmm. They get they they got criminal rings. Oh. So these illegal immigrants then started criminal rings up in good old New York. All right, you know what? You know what? I C E. Yeah, I C E. You know what? Ice. We have an emergency. Mayday, Mayday. There's a an illegal immigration crisis going on in New York and good old country, United States. Yeah, we need y'all boys right now. Right now. Mayday. This is the last call for hope. We need you, ICE. God damn it. Shoplifting it, then getting on buses, taking it down to Florida, selling it in Florida, and then coming back here and... Taking it down to Florida? Oh, no, no, no. Not my great old state. The great state of Florida. Mm-mm. Not here. Y'all better not come here with that. Y'all better not come here. Y'all better not come here. Floridians and something different. Shout out to Ron DeSantis. Shout out to you. New York, they don't dare stay in Florida because they know if they get caught for these types of crimes, these armed robberies and these... That's right. That... You heard what she said? That's right. <clears throat> That's right. They better not come down to Florida. They better not stay here. Mm -mm. We don't play that here. We don't play that down south. We don't play them games here. Them immigration games, them illegal immigration, we don't play that down. Y'all better not. Y'all better drive back to New York. Mm. These assaults and these purse snatchings and phone snatchings and chain snatching in Florida, they're going to end up in jail and they're going to end up deported because they were... That's right. Because we got ice on speed dial down here. Yeah. We, we, we got ice on speed dial down here. Yeah. Y'all better not stay down here. Y'all know the consequence. Your ass getting your ass back to Mexico. You go. Mm-hmm. Back to Venezuela. You go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wherever you go, wherever you out, you taking your ass back. Florida gonna take your ass back, back to where you came from. We'll have a, uh, a liaison with ICE to send them back. So it, it's just the it's just every day there. It seems there is just another development of the of signs of just how impactful this migrant crisis has been in New York City. Yes. Baby girl, Lisa, let me tell you something, Lisa. Baby girl, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a give you your props. I'm going to give you your props. This is great journalism right here. I, I appreciate you for giving us an update. I want to tell you how beautiful you look too, by the way. You looking beautiful. Now, anyways, let's get back to it. Lisa, we appreciate you. We salute to you. Uh, What's her name? I don't, I don't know the other host name, but... Yeah. Anyways, I we salute to you too. We salute to both of y'all. Y'all standing ten toe, handling on business. Ten toe on business. Now, Mayor Eric Adams, boy, if you don't get ice on the phone on speed dial, you don't get ice on the speed. Mm, speed dial. Governor about on Texas. We. We got you. I'm rocking with you. Salute. Ron DeSantis, Florida. You see, they already know. They scared. They scared. 
They, they ain't doing that bullshit in Florida. They scared. I salute to you. I dap you. Who, who, who else is holding it down? Who else is holding it down? Comment down below who else is holding it down. What else, what else governor is holding it down? Because we, 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 need, we, need, we need more good old folks like Ron DeSantis and Governor Obama. Good old folks. Anyways, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the comment below. You see, you see that button down right there? That, that button that say this? Just hit that bit like that. Smash it. Smash, smash the thumbs button. Give your boy a like. You know what I mean? Anyway, I don't want to hold y'all too long. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. Stay blessed. God bless America. And God bless the good old citizens of America. Thank you. Salute.